Okay, hi guys. So this is the next question here. This question says that consider two planets A and B orbiting around a star in a circular orbit. When the planets complete one eighth of their revolution around a star, they cover distances in the ratio one is to three and take ten days and fifteen days respectively. It is known that the distance between the planets when the planets are closest to each other is seven into ten raised to six kilometer. Find the difference in the speeds of the two planets. Right. It's a very good question here. It's a very nice question. Understand this question, guys. It says that two planets A and B are orbiting around a star. Okay, let's say I make a star here. Okay, so you know I'm bad at drawing. <laughs> okay. So now two planets here are orbiting around a star. Okay. So let's say is the first planet orbiting around a star. Okay. So let's say and is the second planet orbiting around a star. Okay, and there is circular orbit, right? So understand this. It says that uh, it is known that the distance between the planets and the planets are closest to each other. So these two planets will be closest to each other when all three are in straight line. Okay, so like this, this these two are at different at many many times, right? These will be at different positions. So let's say this this is a faster planet. The one planet is faster. Other is slower, right? So somewhere this planet is moving here, okay. Somewhere the this planet will be moving here, let's say. But sometime at one point of time, they all will come in a straight line. So let's say this smaller planet is the slower planet is here, and the faster planet is crossing like this, okay. So at one time these three will be in a straight line, obviously, right? So when these three are in straight in straight line. The distance between the planets is given as this distance d is given as seven into ten raised to six kilometer. So that's the question here, guys. That's the question. Okay. Now, so if I understand, uh, if if I understood this question actually, then what I can see here is now two pi. Now see this the circumfer. Uh, this planet A circumference, right? So I directly can see that. Let's say this planet A here. Okay. So planet A is, I think, yes. So let's say planet A is uh, this one, and let's say planet B is this one. Okay. So when the planets complete one eighth of their revolution around the star, they cover distance in the ratio one is to three. That means I can say that uh, total. Okay. So planet A will, if if I say that planet A, so if planet A will travel. A distance of x in ten days. So, if planet A will travel a distance of x in ten days, okay, then I can say that planet B will travel a distance of three x in ten days. Obviously, sorry, in fifteen days. Correct. Three so x in fifteen days, right? Now, from this I can say that. So, if it covers distance of x in ten ten days. Then the planets complete one eighth of their revolution around, around a star. So this distance is one eighth. That means I can say that its circumference. This circumference is the boundary, right? This is the whole length of this is whole length of the boundary of circle. This is called circumference. The so circumference in this case will be eight x, and in this case, this circumference of this of will be how much? It will be twenty four x. Because when they have covered distance of x and three x, they have covered one eighth of their revolution. So x distance is just one eighth. So what is total? Total would be eight x. Correct. So uh, get this point now, guys. Okay. So now after this, once I am uh, further solving it, what I'll be getting here is now circumference eight x and twenty four x. So now what I can say here is. Now two circumference is two pi r, so two pi r radius of circle A is twenty four x. Sorry, eight x. I should write this one. And second is twenty four x. So this is eight x, and the second will be two pi r b is equal to twenty four x. So from here we'll get the value of radius of circle A is four x by pi, and the radius of circle B is twelve x by pi. This is what I'm getting here. Okay, now twelve x by five for for now it is written that now obviously this distance d should be equal to what radius of circle uh, b. Okay, I've written this reverse actually. This should be 
this should be a and this should be b i think right uh, they cover 1 is to 3 and this smaller okay this is 10 days right okay that's fine this a and this planet b so what you can do here is a guys so i can write here that r a minus r b so d is what d will be radius of circle a minus radius of circle b okay so read sorry radius of circle b minus radius of circle a will be this distance d here so radius of circle b minus radius of circle a here so radius of circle b minus radius of circle a uh, this will be equal to 7 into 10 raised to 6 kilometer okay Now, uh, what is radius of circle A guys? 12x by pi and this is 4x by pi. This will be equal to 7 into 10 raised to 6. So, I can write here that. Uh, let's say now 12 minus 4 is 8 here. So, I think this will go like x is equal to, it should be 8x by pi. So, 7 into 10 raised to 6. Now, pi will come here. 22 by 7. Okay. And this 8 will come here like that. This will get cancelled. And this is uh, 2.75. Okay. So, I can write here that this is x is equal to 2.75 into 10 raised to 6 kilometer. So, what I want here? I want their difference in speeds. Okay. So, I can say that their difference in speeds here. So, difference in speeds is equal to how much? What is the speed? So, speed of the uh, first one, yeah. So, speed of the first planet here. This planet covers distance x in 10 days and this covers 3x in 15 days. The speed of planet B is 3x by 15 and speed of planet A is x by 10. Correct. So, now I can just put the value of x here. So, 30 minus 15, this will be actually 30 minus 15. Uh, third, so, wait, sorry. 6x minus 3x is... 3x by 30 that is x by 10 only this is x by 10 x is 2.75 into 10 raised to 6 by 10 this is equal to 2.75 into 10 raised to 5 this is the answer okay that's the difference in speed so option a would do here okay that's a good question here guys very good question i hope you got, i hope all of you got the concept thank you